Hello fellow YouTubers and baseball lovers. Um Yeah, so I got an awesome new addition to my arsenal. Um Rawlings Pro Preferred Mocha Catcher's Mitt, 34 inches. And guys, I gotta say, I'm I'm in love with it. Um Now I had always for some reason I mean even though they called it Mocha I mean, I knew the laces were kind of brown, but I mean, just looking in videos, I mean, look at this one. The glove looks black. Uh, so I'd always thought that it was a black glove with mocha um, laces. Uh, and then I got it, you know, and of course, it's a mocha colored glove. And I don't know why in the world I thought that it was black um, when it obviously says mocha. But anyway, so I got it... Oh, man. T today's Friday. Got it Wednesday. So, two days ago. And, I mean, I got it off of eBay. So, he, I mean, it's new. But it had been already kind of broken in. Um, not much. But I've already caught two bullpens with it. Um, and just banging the crap out of it with my mallet. Uh, and I got a tourney tomorrow. Or actually, I mean, it's kind of this whole weekend. And uh, I, I really wish I could use it, but um, I doubt I'll be able to. Um, but anyway, and uh, I know in my last video I promised a um, review on the 44 Pro Glove and the Wilson A2000. And um, the, my DP15. And, um, well, I sold the... Uh, DP, or I'm not the DP15, the uh, 44 Pro Glove. Um, I sold that one on eBay, um, and then before I could do a review, and then I just haven't gotten around to the Wilson one. Um, so anyway, uh, I I was up here, you know, in my room, just you know, hitting it with the mallet, and I was like, you know what, I should probably put this on my YouTube channel. Um, so anyway, yep. Uh, great glove. I mean, the lace quality is, like, really outstanding. Uh, it's better than my Wilson. Um, like, I mean, these laces are just phenomenal. Uh, really, really soft. The leather's just, I mean, immaculate. Uh, really comfortable on the hand. Um, I mean, like, when I put it on, and, I mean, I've got pretty small hands. Um, I mean, yeah. So... When I put it on, it doesn't really feel like a 44 inch. Um, I, I was I was very um, worried about it. I didn't know if it was gonna be really like way too big. Cause I I have you know if y'all watch my videos, I have a, um, a rolling skull glove, and you know that's 32 and a half inches, and so. Um, I, I really had meant to just go up to a 33 and a half, but I got this for a really good deal. Um, and so, I mean, I just couldn't pass it. And, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't, I mean, it looks like, especially from this view, I mean, it looks monstrous, but like, I mean, from back here, um, it doesn't really look like a 34 and, I don't. I wouldn't say it really plays like a 34, to be honest. Um, I mean, I've caught with a couple other 34 inches, and I mean they were just really heavy and big and bulky. Um, and I mean, it was almost like they were so big that you know, I don't know. It was it was it was just kind of weird. But this one doesn't really play like it's too big, so. Um, Anyway, I would recommend this. Uh, I mean, it is pricey, but, I mean, it's definitely worth the money. I mean, it is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous glove. Um, I mean, if it was brand new, I definitely wouldn't be able to do that. But, um, I mean, the pocket's nowhere close to being broken. Uh, but I've caught a couple bullpens, and, you know, it's, uh, it's worked pretty well. i still got to build the pocket. I mean, if you can see, I mean, the pocket is flat absolutely no pocket so um gotta build that up but once i do um i'll come back at you with a like full review 
of how it's broke in and how it worked. Ooh, can't get my hand out. Um, so anyway, uh, yep, thanks guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys um, love to do. Uh, and please keep posting more videos of, you know, all you guys, of your stuff. And um, I, I really enjoy watching those videos. So, um, thanks guys.